Hey there, friends. Hope you're ready for some spelunking, because we're going underground once more. We're playing with a tribe of unique colonists, the proud descendants of a once passionate people. Our remote home in the boreal forest makes us hard to find, but our tribe's desire to connect with the outside world draws interest from many places. We have little to offer at the moment, other than crudely made items and chunks of stone. But what we lack in knowledge, we make up for in ambition and an eagerness to learn. Today's goal is to mine out a large chamber for growing Nutrifungus. Not only do our colonists prefer fungus, but we can grow it year-round and not have to worry about the weather. But until our fungus is finished growing, we're going to have to rely on other food sources to sustain us. Oh, a monumental moment. Our colony's first visitor. His name is Gray Rokomko, the 14-year-old teenage archer from the League of Nozo. Little does he know, he's also the first visitor that we haven't tried to kill. Spider is the best speaker in our tribe, so we'll send her out to meet our guest. Hello, welcome to our humble settlement. Unfortunately, he doesn't really have anything that we need. I will give you some herbal medicine for some pemmican in order to establish good trade relations between our people. And we're going to send Koyo and Basculo off to work on the tunnel and also on our growing chamber. Look, Just look at Basculo. Look how fast he works. He just literally tears through this. I, I know I've emphasized it a few times now, but just look at this. It looks like I'm speeding this up, but I'm not. I, I swear, he's just that fast at mining. And as they mine, their days are filled with chatter about cooking with peppers and joking about lovers and chatting about using hammers. And we have a group of travelers passing by from the League of Nozo. Some of Rokomko's people. Perhaps the word of our people are spreading across the lands. And everyone wants to come and see us for themselves. Hey, new lovers. Alright. Spider charm Basculo by exaggerating her own parents. <laughs> Basculo was attracted and is now Spider's lover. This is wonderful news. It appears as though we can't assign them a double bed. I... I thought they can sleep together before getting married. I I suppose not. Imagine what things would have had to have been said to attract you based on your parents' achievements. What about Spider's parents attracted Basculo so much? And the League of Nozo have left us a gift. Rokomko has left us a Synthred blindfold. It's of nice quality, but it's not anything that uh that we can really use. I don't think any of maybe they'll wear it as a fashion statement. And Spider will now chop up the turkey next to Sneak, and the Nutrifungus Chamber is well on its way now. Spider and Koyo and Basculo work tirelessly at it. Spider and Koyo chat about eating habits, and Salamander and Koyo talked about fat people. And with the last couple of hits, Koyo has now completed the Nutrifungus Chamber. We kept one piece of stone in the middle there to act as a, uh, as a pillar that will keep the chamber held up so it doesn't crumble on our people and now we can go ahead and start laying out the groundwork to get some of these mushrooms up and growing and we have our first event it looks like a mad rat here it comes the, the enraged rat oh god sneak <laughs> sneak get out of there man actually i think sneak might be a pretty solid defense against this rat if it decided to attack him and we'll send salamander out there to deal with the mad rat Shouldn't be too much trouble for him. Alright, this is becoming a bit of a nail biter now. Salamander whiffs his first shot and... Oh, jeez. Alright, the rat got us. There we go. Alright, we were able to go ahead and take down the mad rat. Oh god, that rat scratched both of Salamander's eyes. I can just imagine that little thing jumping up on his face and just starts unleashing hell upon him. And a group of travelers from Lenum are passing by now. And we have such an interesting cast. We have Paul Paulson, the town councilman. <laughs> what a it's such a great politician name, Paul Paulson. Vote for me. It must be a tradition to wear these very cool purple visage masks. That's a neat look. They're like the uh, that group from America's Got Talent, uh, the Jabberwockies or whatever they were. <laughs> They're just leaving Darcy behind. They're, they just keep walking farther and farther away from her, and she's just so slow, she can't keep up. Poor Darcy. If you can't keep up with Paul Paulson, he's going to leave you behind, Darcy. Now we're going to start working on the fungal gravel. This flooring will make it possible for us to grow Nutrifungus underground. 
and this should be plenty of fungus and it'll probably be so much that we can even feed our animals with it too. And Spider added another kill to her list. She's ruthless. The poor rabbit didn't stand a chance. The thing about this fungal gravel is it does take quite some time to lay down, so we might actually have to start growing some fungus on top of what's already created first and just kind of work our way from there because we are going to need food rather sooner rather than later. So we got the request to name our faction and the game auto-generated this really cool name called the Kinship of the Rock, which I rather I, I rather like that. I think that sounds really neat. But um, So we're going to name our faction that is Sentence, and we're going to name our settlement National Park Cave Entrance number 4. <laughs> it's very fitting. And we have our first little Nutrifungus here. boar has got the Nutrifungus farm up and running. It's starting to look really good. we got a bunch of cute little mushrooms sprouting everywhere. Is that the right name, sprouting? Is it growing or molding i don't actually know what the proper term for fungal growth is that that's something to look into the spider's preparing some meals for us we've actually gone ahead and uh allocated our cooking responsibility between spider salamander and basculo uh, even though uh basculo is passionate about it they all pretty much share the same stat level but it, it'll, it'll help it'll help them continue a steady workflow by spreading that out our colonists continue to work out this fungal gravel we are going to have a very very large growing zone here and i think it's going to pay dividends in the end in fact this might even be too big uh, we might not need it all right now i'm also slightly worried about infestations i know that they grow or not grow i know the infestations usually pop up in rooms that are considered dirty and underneath overhead mountain which uh this is both right now so it's i don't know how the grow zone effects of that particular event from happening but hopefully we don't get any big infestations we really keep, we're, we're just not prepared for that right now oh good we have our colony's first raid a group of wasters from tox chokers tox chokers have arrived today they are attacking immediately looks like we have a pirate named faz fizz he has a steel club and he's pretty quick let's see what he's all about he's a acetic cannibal who's trigger happy He's pretty good at melee. He has a six in melee, so that's actually kind of dangerous for us. We're gonna have to make sure he doesn't get anywhere close. Let's prepare our people for battle. Spider, it's time to add another kill to your list. Here comes Fastfizz, walking across the murky water. All right, here he comes. Oh, uh, Koyo's just got, Koyo just got struck in the face. Defend yourself, Koyo. Boy, get in there, help him out. Okay, that's a good hit, good hit. And there we go. Faz Fizz has been defeated. Our only damage was to Koyo, and that was a uh, couple bumps to the head, legs, and the femur. But other than that, we, we came out of that relatively unscathed. Excellent. Everyone go back to work. We'll go ahead and start digging out some graves. That way we can throw Faz Fizz's disgusting body in there. And we are finishing up putting the fungal gravel down. There we go. Perfect. Now we're ready to grow an insane amount of mushrooms and we're in pretty desperate need for food so we're gonna have to go ahead and hunt some more animals salamanders in the process of taking down a mighty muffalo oh yeah he's got a couple good hits so far to the lungs and the body great hit salamander right to the brain just completely destroyed the muffalo's brain and now salamander will proudfully march the muffalo's body back home Showing his trophy off for all to see and great now we now we have some charity work a group of young beggars that want 38 silver <laughs> Here they come the young beggars walking by a cougar Hopefully they wake it up <laughs> So it can it can prevent them from begging Fine. We'll we'll give the money to the kids Here you go. Take your take your less than a cup of coffee a day and get out of here. There they go their stories unknown to the rest of the world. Maybe one day our generosity will pay us back tenfold. The young beggars will remember the descendants. And here sits our little patches of Nutrifungus in their infancy, growing steadily in the deep dark shadows of the Underdark. These little tiny fungal growths that started from spores are one day going to grow full and feed our colony and provide sustenance to us and our animals alike. It's amazing what these little things can do. 
It's amazing what our people can accomplish when we put our minds together to complete a task. Like the satisfying glow of a dark light torch, our optimism and spirits glow brightly inside, burning with a passion and eagerness to explore the outside world. And with the dawn of a new sunset, we will rise once again to explore and expand our horizons. Our journey is just beginning, and I thank you for being a part of that journey. And until the next time the sun sets, my friends, I'll see you later.